So here we go. Let's give it to him. Here we are. All right. With hand claps and handshakes, Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris and County Commissioners welcome Basir Akrami, a refugee from Afghanistan. <laughs> He's been in Memphis just five days, but told me his first impression has been wonderful. They are great people that they gave us a for, uh, opportunity to live in this great place. We met Akrami today as Shelby County presented him and other refugees with a welcome bag filled with Memphis-related items from local restaurants, the Grizzlies, and a $100 gift card to Kroger. As a government, we often have things that are happening behind the scenes, like we have been working on getting housing secured. We're working on making sure there's counseling available when they need it, transportation services. But we need to go beyond that. We need to make sure people feel welcome in Memphis. Mayor Harris talked about the years Americans were in Afghanistan. We had a lot of support along the way. Uh, so we had folks uh, that provided translation services. We had folks that helped with the spread of democratic values. We had folks that uh, took risks uh, that they did not otherwise have to take. Akrami is one of those people. He worked at the U.S. Embassy in Kabul for three and a half years. As an interpreter, security guard. But now he's here in Memphis, along with his two young daughters. They're staying with a host family for the time being. Is there anything you want the public to know about what's going on over there or to understand? For two days of Taliban, I'm still in Kabul. The situation is bad. It seems like no one come out from houses. Uh, shops closed. Everything is closed. That seems a dangerous, scary place. Akrami's extended family is still in Afghanistan. He said he checks on them and their security. I do talk with them uh, now, day by day. Mayor Harris also presented a check for $10,000 on behalf of the county to the nonprofit World Relief, a group helping families like Akrami's who had this message. Thank you for everything that they have done for us. Shea Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3.